not in a bad condition. That's why I'm using it again. If you have any school supplies that is not a bad condition, you should use it again. So this is my bag and I got a new one this year since I needed a bigger one because I'm going to 7th grade. Wow. And Ash is going to 5th grade. I'm so, really excited. This is my bag. It's by Roots and I really like it. And this is my bag. It's black and it has lots of patterns on it. And it has lots and lots of pockets. And it even has a pocket at the back. I like my backpack a lot because it has like lots of pockets, something over here which you can put a keychain on. And in the back there's like lots of cool designs. And for my lunch bag, I got a matching lunch bag from Staples. And this is what it looks like and I really like it. It's like really spacious and can hold lots of things. I think it matches great with her backpack. So now we're gonna go and get started. Let's get into the video. Right, so my very, very, very favorite part of this year is I get to use this insulated bottle and I really like it. It's from Winners. So I really like this because in the summer, it's very, very hot sometimes and you can bring ice cold water to school and the ice would stay inside and in the winter you can bring warm drinks such as milk and hot chocolate and it will stay warm inside so that's why I really like this water bottle I'm really excited to use it I'm also really excited to use my water bottle since it's purple and that's my favorite color and you can also like have a cold drink and a warm drink like my sister and the really cool thing about this is I never had a water bottle that had a lock. So here's a lock. And then you just open it. And also there's a strainer in here. And it's really cool in case you have any like drink that has chunks. Over there. And I'm really excited to use this. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and get started showing you guys our school supplies. So um, I wanted to start off by saying if you haven't checked out our video when we went school supply shopping, please go ahead and check out that video. So now we're going to go ahead and get started on everything that we bought. So in this first compartment, I have all my school supplies and I have a lot. I don't have that much. A lot of school supplies. So we're each going to go one by one and choose an item. So I'm going to go first. Okay. <laughs> so the first thing I have is this reinforcements for my paper when it rips, because that usually happens. And I really like this because it's colorful and I was about to get white ones and I'm kind of glad that I got the colorful ones to make my page colorful. The first item that I have is some extra lead for my mechanical pencils because what if your lead runs out you don't have any more pencils so I have 0.7 lead. So next I just have a pair of scissors because you really need this for school. Next I have a bookmark and it says just smile and look cute and I love the puppy here. Don't you just see her smile and her little teeth? So what I have next is this pack of sticky notes. So there's this one that's really big, so it's kind of like that long. And then you have these three over here in different colors, which are also long. And then you have some of these ones, which are really nice. And I really like this because it helps to keep me organized. Next I have my mechanical pencils, and this also comes with some lead. And the razors are super big. I never saw pencils like that. Can't wait to use these. So just like Ash, I also had to get these pencils. So these pencils are super duper, super duper comfy. And I really like these because they have squishy grips, which is really good for writing notes. And the eraser is also very, very big. So you can erase a lot more. And it also gives you more erasers and some more lead. And we're going to be sharing this pack of lead. I got these pencils last year, so I'm so excited to use them again. Next, I have a composition book to like write my notes for school and just to remember things. So next, I have this pack of colored lead. This is so cool. It's erasable, and me and Ash are going to be sharing these. 
and these are really cool so there is a purple a pink and an orange and there's also six uh, sorry three other colors that you can choose from so I really like this next I have a clear small ruler this is so adorable I got this from Staples all right, so since I'm going into the seventh grade, I have to take lots of notes. So I have some of these erasable pens and I have some black ones. These are by Frickson and what I like about them is you don't have to buy white out because you can erase them. And with that, I also got two blue pens that are also erasable and also a pack of colorful erasable pens. These are by the paper men. Next I have this really cool object. It is a 12 crayons in one. Isn't that super cool? How this works is you just open your cap and you pull up the crayon like this and you put it back on. But I use the red. <laughs> and my friend gave this to me last year. So I really, really like it. I can't wait to use it again. Okay, so the next thing I have is a pack of Sharpies because why not? Everyone needs Sharpies and me and Ash are going to also be sharing these because we love sharing things. <laughs> so uh, I just got a pack of Sharpies. Next, I got quite a few like pens. I'm using these in Lester again because they're really good condition. And this is my favorite one because it changes color. So next I have this clear ruler just like Ash. And I really like it because it's really great for measuring and if you're measuring angles, since the point is straight, you can tell if it's a 90 degree angle. So this is really, really good. I also have a pack of two erasers and me and Sand are going to be sharing it. One is for me and one is for her and I can't wait to use these. So the final and last thing I have is this pack of Sadler pencils. These are my favorite pencils ever. I get them every single year. They're really, really good and I really like them. And the last object I also have is Sadler pencils too. And these don't break as easily as other pencils do. So you guys should totally get these. So over here I have my calculator and I really like it. I have a geometry set. And here's the inside. I also use this last year since it's really good condition again. So I'm done with this pocket, so I'm gonna move on to the next one. So in the next one, I have this pencil case. And the reason I have this pencil case is because I got some brush markers this year and I'm really excited to use them. And there's like lots of colors and black, which is a traditional color, but there's lots of colors to choose from. And I got these for writing titles and for taking notes. Next I have a huge teal ruler. So next I have a pack of glue sticks and these are my favorite because it, these are the disappearing purple ones. I have a pack of glue sticks. And then something I'm really excited to use this year is this pack of 72 colored pencils by Stadler. So I'm gonna show you what they look on the inside. You can see there's lots of colors. Next I have a pack of 100 pieces of loose paper. The so next I have this pack of 100 colorful index cards and these are all the colors. The reason I got this is because it's really good for studying. Next I have a huge purple binder. The reason I picked purple is because it's my favorite color. And here's the inside. I have these two pencil cases and I'm gonna refill them with more school supplies. One of the next thing I have is another notebook, which is the 
same as this one, and this one is gray. And I really like the pages because you can write the date and the page number. And gray and teal are both of my favorite colors. So in my next, um, so my next thing in here is this binder. This one just says science on it. I got a little dirty. And then I just have some things inside. So this is my title page for science. And then I have this biodiversity title page, which I actually showed you how to draw. And I also have a couple notes, another title page, the drawing, and some more notes. So if you guys haven't already saw, uh, seen this video, please watch it and I will show you guys a time-lapse drawing of me drawing this. The next thing I have is this folder for music. And I really like the design. And the next thing I have, which is the last thing, it is a yellow French book. And I really like it because it has like a pocket here. And in the front, it has like a context. And you can like write the date, the topic, and the page so you remember what page you are at. So next, something I'm really excited to use this year is this pack of dividers. And I'm gonna show you all the cool designs inside. So in here, the first design you have is this one which says love and it has some flowers on it. And at the back it's pink and it has a floral design. Next, I have this one that says super. And it has some flowers. And at the back, it's blue and it also has another floral design. So the next one is one of my favorites. So this one says La V A Belle. This is something that is in French. And then it has some flowers teal and a floral pattern. And then I have another one of my favorites. This one says bonjour, which means hello in French. And it has some more flowers. The back is blue and it has the same floral design. The next one is one that says ooh la la, or Oh la la, oh, whatever you want to say. Um, and then it has some more flowers. The back is yellow and it has another floral design. Let me know in the comment section down below which one is your favorite. So with the dividers you also get these peel and stick labels which you can put onto the tab of your divider. So it will kind of look like this. thing I have is this binder which I use for social studies. So, so whatever I do when I get a plain binder like this is I would like to make it more exciting and not keep my binder boring by adding some decorative paper and I just like, like to use something that matches the subject and for science I did this one which is like a teacup and floral. I got this teal binder because teal is my favorite color and I really like it. So I really like these binders and this is what they look like. And there's a pocket on this side and a pocket on this side to store your things. So the next thing I got is this binder in blue. So don't think that these binders are boring because I'm going to be decorating them with and I'm gonna add some paper on the inside. So next I have this pack of 100 sheets of loose paper. And then I have this um, French notebook which I 
you know, made interesting with some paper. So I really like it because it's glittery and there's glitter in it. And it's really nice because it can help keep you organized because it has a date, topic, description, page number, and some interesting pages. So next I have this folder which I use for music and just storing some of my loose stuff. And But for this year I'm going to use it for art and here I have my art title page. So the last thing I have is a ruler. Yeah, that's everything I have. But I also want to show you that I have lots of pockets in here to store my laptop, which I usually need at school, and a tablet or something. And there's lots of storage. And also for school, I like to use these little like binder pouches, which is where, which are good for storing like money you have to bring to school and everything. I just have these two pencil cases and I use silver ones, which go really nice with my pen. Alright guys, so we hope you like this video. So this is everything that we got for school. And we're still shopping. So if we go to the store, we find something we like, and we get it, you know? Shopping never ends. And what we get is gonna be great for school and I can't wait to get more stuff. So thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Please like comment and share. Don't forget to comment down below and let us know which divider was your favorite. And please, please subscribe and give it a big thumbs up. We would really, really, really like it. That is a great favor for us. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. So whenever you go shopping, make sure you make a list. So I just made my list over here and it has a couple of school supply doodles on it. And I also have mine here. It has lots of colorful doodles too. And here I have a 3D pencil and I'll show you how to make that in our next coming up video. And in our next video, we're also going to be showing you how to make some of your own school supplies. So I'm gonna be showing you how to make this book using a staple saddle stitch binding. And this is what it looks like. And I'm also going to be showing you how you can make your own heart paper clips. So this is what it looks like. And when you put it on your paper, this is what it looks like. And I have a couple different colors. I'm also going to show you how to make a mini book. And you can open it up like this. And it says, hey everyone, and then it has a pocket and a little pencil. And then you can close it again. So if you want to see all of these things and how to make them, please check out our next video. So whenever you make your school supply list for school, make sure to check your old school supplies from last year and um, like, just check all your school supplies because you can use things from last year that are in good condition and it doesn't matter if you do that. So like someone goes like, why are you using the same things from last year? It doesn't even matter because it's like a school supply. It's like nothing wrong with this. You can use it again and skip it from your list and you can save money that way and you can be more happy. All right guys, so all we got for school supplies is a bag. All right, that's it. So one more school. <laughs>